seven week and three days old baby and he's gone all floppy. Right. I'm in from his nose. Is the patient breathing? One second, I'll give you to my mum. Quickly, you need to know whether he's breathing. Nothing. I can't feel nothing. Another baby has been rushed to hospital in a life-threatening condition. The injuries are so severe, the hospital alert the police. Hello, I'm DC Martin Hart from Bucketshire Police. Hello. All right. At so this moment in time, you're under arrest on a suspicion of attempted murder. All right. Hi, Raya. Is the chopper to come in? Yes. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to hang back you. But we're going to just wander to the police station, which is about two minutes away. No. 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 Has my mum been uh, notified that I'm getting arrested? Uh, no, she no, no, no. Why? Are you, are you, you're eight, 19, is that correct? Yeah. You're an adult, so we don't have... But I live under her roof. Okay. These are clips from the case of a seven-week-old baby being harmed by his father. Please watch the whole video to see the shocking footage of the police interviews of both of the parents. If you enjoy true crime content like this, please be sure to like, comment and subscribe. Today's video will focus on the investigation where a seven-week-old baby sustained terrible injuries. Father Daniel Gilbert, aged 21, and Mother Vicky, aged 19, were arrested on suspicion of attempted murder and taken in for police interviews. Paramedics had to resuscitate the baby before taking the child to Luton and Dunstable Hospital and alerted the police as a result of the severity of the baby's injuries. The critically ill infant was then moved to intensive care at Great Ormond Street Hospital. The investigation saw a police detective discuss the baby's condition with the parents, explaining that we now know that he has sustained injuries to his brain, eyes and ribs. He's got cerebral palsy in four limbs, he's potentially blind, deaf, he suffered bleeding at the back of his eyeballs, multiple bleeds and he has the inability to eat or drink without the help of tubes in his stomach. He will need 24 hour care for the remainder of his life it's unlikely there will be any improvement in his current condition. In the following police interviews, Daniel, the baby's father, responded no comment when questioned about the incident, while Vicky, the mother, spoke more openly with the investigators. She added that at about 5 past 11, Daniel was taking him upstairs, and then about quarter past, Daniel came running down the stairs with him in his arms, and he was floppy, she explains. I was so confused. My first reaction was to go and get my mum. I will now proceed to show you clips from the police interviews and you can make of them what you will. Oh, come on, baby. Will they explain all that feeling? Are they carefree or are they angry? Before you even interview me, I'm not even talking to you until I can tell my mum what you've done. Okay, that's absolutely fine. <laughs> Can you tell me what happened? At 11.26, Bedfordshire Police received a call from the ambulance service saying there was a baby in cardiac arrest, OK, and bleeding from the nose and mouth. Medical examinations showed a significant brain injury, which the medical staff say is inflicted. What do you think happened? No comment. What did he do that afternoon? No comment. Who had him? No comment. About five past 11. Daniel was taking him upstairs and then about quarter past Daniel's come running down the stairs with him in his arms and he's floppy and I, I was so confused my first reaction is to go and get my mum Ambulance was called probably horrendous time for you Tell me about how you were feeling No comment I was like put him in some water I was like just put a little bit of water on him to see maybe that might wake him up but then I heard Daniel calling me, telling me that he wasn't breathing. Are you responsible for causing the injuries? No, I'm not. Are you responsible for causing the injuries to your son? No comment. The case is now referred to the Major Crime Unit for further investigation. We are here to investigate the most serious of crimes. Because we do have more resources to throw at investigations. Mum is only 19 herself and Dad is 21. Ordinarily, we wouldn't take a case when baby hasn't died, but the prognosis for this baby is so poor um, and life-limiting that it was right for us to take it. The account that they give is that Dad takes baby upstairs to put him to sleep in the Moses basket. 
and around 11 o'clock goes to pick up baby and he is limp. So baby goes to hospital. A skeletal survey shows numerous rib fractures. There's certainly one of the fractures that is showing signs of healing um, and they think that that has been caused prior to the head injury. Mum and Dad are actually named as suspects. There are lots of inquiries that we need to try and progress. Grandma has been treated as a significant witness and there is a letter that Grandma has now produced, written by Mum to Baby, saying sorry she wasn't there for him and didn't protect him. I didn't realise how hard it would be being a parent, but then the baby's dad was more of the hands-on father because my dad ended up passing away. So I kind of don't like connecting with people. When my child was born, I looked at him for the first time. He had my dad smile. So obviously it hurts quite a bit. I want to talk to you a little bit about the current condition. It's unlikely that there'll be any improvement in his current condition. I did not know that part. So what do you know? She uh, didn't know that part. The one we had a meeting yesterday. My understanding, Vicky, is that he is not going to get better. We believe that somebody's responsible for that. How did Vicky cope with caring after the birth? She didn't want to hold him, like, at all. Um, who would usually be the one to feed him? Nine times out of ten, me. OK. Is there any particular reason for that? Well, I just think she couldn't be bothered to get up and do it. What my mum and my sister told me was at Vicky's, when I went to the toilet, Vicky picked him up by his legs and, like, swung him up. Was the injuries deliberate act by you? No, it wasn't okay. by me. Did you lose your temper with him at all? No. Did you shake him? No. Were you rough with him? No. I don't know if you're aware of this, but she wrote him a note in hospital. But her mum read it out. I wasn't really listening to it, but the bit I heard was, I hope you can forgive me in the future. Why would she write a note saying, Will you forgive to me? To me, that's, she's hiding something, but okay. I don't know what. Having a baby at such a young age is a very, very difficult thing. When you don't have your sleep, you get tired, you get frustrated, and sometimes people can get to the end of their tether with a child, and it could just be that you've lost your temper. Yeah. It could just be that you didn't mean to, because I, I seriously do believe how much you love and care for him. He means the um, world to me. And I can see that. If I was to do something like what the hospital record or whatever, that I've shaken him, yeah? Hmm. Why would I phone up and ask how he is? Why would I go visit him all the, near enough all the time if I'd done something like that? Because maybe you feel really guilty, mate. I, I'm one of these people where I cannot live with guilt. If I've done something, I have to say, yeah, I've done that. The problem that we've got here, the biggest problem is those injuries were caused very close to when that ambulance was called. The baby is, as far as you've stated, is with Vicky to start with, OK? And then you've taken him from her yeah. and taken him upstairs, OK? So in that last period of time, you appear to be present with your baby at all times, unless I've got that mistaken. No, I nipped to the toilet once. You nipped to the toilet once? So when was that? That was... about 10 to 11, 5 to 11. OK. How long were you? Probably a minute or two. Is that that before? No. 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 Really? Apart from that one to two minutes, you are with him at all times. You have either, apart from this toilet business, which obviously has just popped up, you have either seen the injury happen to him... No, I haven't. ..or 
you're responsible for that I'm injury. I'm responsible for it. Unless what you're saying is Vicky is responsible for that injury in the two minutes that you're in the toilet. It only takes seconds, doesn't it? Yeah? It only know. takes seconds. Did it? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. It could have. Could have taken seconds. But I did not do this. To be honest, that's just sickening and yeah, they were eventually released but Daniel was later found guilty of GBH with intent and 10 months later was sentenced to only 3 years in prison. The baby has now also been adopted by foster parents and is being adequately cared for. My thoughts on this case are mainly of shock and disbelief um, to see like a father sit there and go no comment when his child's potentially never going to be fully able again just makes you think why did you even have the kid if you're going to hate him that much but yeah I don't think you can start reasoning with these type of people because there is no logic in it and it's better off not wasting your breath with these type of people um, Daniel's sentence being three years I think that's laughable and I've said it many times before on my channel as well about these lenient sentences and stuff like that but that has to that can't be right like three years surely the judge sentencing the father must know like this guy's gone and injured a baby for the rest of his life it should have probably been attempted murder instead of gbh as well if the kid's got multiple bleeding behind his eye i don't think it was just a smack kid it looks like it was something a lot more sinister and scary um i'm happy that the baby's now in foster care which you know is something but that father's going to be out in what possibly a year and a half since he's probably going to do half his sentence what if he goes and has another kid what if you know I doubt they're going to be keeping an eye on him because these social services and stuff they're, they're usually failing instead of actually doing anything but yeah this, this case was actually quite well publicised as well because it ended up in um, Channel 4's 24 hours in police custody and I think the majority of the public have expressed their opinions on it saying that you know they thought these people were vile they thought the episode was a tough watch and they felt sick and to be honest, I can only agree with them. We really, really hope that, you know, we don't hear another case like this. This was quite a few years ago in 2017, but since then there's been an almost scary trend of these parents getting up to nonsense and basically attacking their kids and I, I have no words for that type of stuff. But yeah, I don't, I don't, I could be here all day just talking about this guy and how disgusting he is but yeah um i hope you enjoyed the content today and if you could do please like comment and subscribe because it genuinely helps the growth of the channel